Hey folks, this is part 3 of the Neptune 4 upgrade videos. In case you missed the other ones, we printed several upgrades and modifications so far. We also connected the printer to Wi-Fi so we can use Clipper. And we added a webcam so you can control and monitor the printer from the couch. So we have already made a lot of useful modifications, and we also did things like... That one? Well... Today we are going to make this simple belt tensioner that I badly needed because of my already very loose belt. And we make this filament holder with ball bearing, which I want to use for printing very soft and stretchy filament. But first a few words to the sponsor of the video. PCBWay PCBWay offers a wide variety of different manufacturing processes. Not only can they make you PCBs, but they can also manufacture all kinds of parts through CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrications and even injection molding. You can simply upload your 3D file and immediately see how much it will cost. You have many options to choose how and from which material your part should be made. They even offer metal 3D printing with different materials like aluminum, titanium and even tool steel, which I find very interesting and I definitely will use this for future projects. Back to the video. First, let's do the belt tensioner. Again, I'll link all the parts in the description in case you want to print it too. From that set, I only needed this one part because I didn't have the right size ball bearings. Instead, I'll show you how I did it with the parts I had available. I used two of these bearings with a 5mm hole, two M5 washers, two M5 nuts, and one 30mm long M5 bolt. I first add a washer at the top and bottom and screw the nut down, but only finger tight. Then the two bearings on top of each other and another nut at the bottom. To place it, I first have to unplug the filament sensor, then loosen the filament holder slightly and slide it to the side. The cover of the filament sensor cable can be easily removed with an Allen key. For the attachment to the printer you also need two M4 screws that are 10mm long and matching M14 nuts for each tensioner. You can route the filament sensor cable through this slot in the tensioner and tighten the screws firmly. Here you can see how loose my belt is. That's why I decided to install two of these tensioners. You probably won't need two of them, because you can also attach up to three guides to a single tensioner. For me, however, this made the most sense, as the belt can engage with more teeth on both pulleys this way. Then you can screw the filament holder back on and set your belt tension by tightening the nut. That's much better now. Note that in the original design this part would be used with other bearings for which it includes guide rollers and spacers. Shown here is my adapted version, with which I am very happy so far. The next part is this spool holder. As you can see here it works with two of those palm wheels that are used on many 3D printers. And you probably already have some of them lying around. Because I am often asked about my slicer settings, let's take a quick look at them. I use the standard Eligu Cura that came with the printer. For PLA I use the generic profile and only change a few small things. I practically always choose the brim, because that way the filament blob that usually forms when the nozzle warms up is wiped off and doesn't end up on the print. And for this model I choose additional supports, because as you can see many surfaces are in the air or overhanging. For the first layer I usually use 0.3mm layer height and for infill I use the gyroid setting. Otherwise I only use the set default values when printing PLA. Obviously, there are still some settings for me that can be better adjusted, as you'll see in a moment. Like for example the area under the support, which looks pretty rough. I think I can do much better if I increase the support density in future prints. This is particularly clear on this part because so much support is used. Removing the supports is quite easy. But a good pair of pliers can be very helpful in some places. You can also see the rough surface of this roll where the support material was. But my camera doesn't seem to like this and always loses focus when I want to show it. Sorry for that. As mentioned, you need such standard palm wheels for this part. I ordered these clear ones from AliExpress and linked them in the description, in case you want to use the same ones as me. You need two of them for this holder and can attach them to the top and bottom of the roller. 
The roll can then be inserted into the holder and the whole thing then screw into the right hand side of the filament holder. Now you can have two filament rolls on your printer, and since the new holder has less friction than the standard one, it should also be slightly better suited for very flexible and soft filaments. As for this very soft TPU that I will use in the next video, when I print with TPU for the first time on this printer to make non-slip feet for this display holder. I wanted to include it in this video, but then it would have gotten too long. If you want to see more videos like this you are welcome to subscribe. I also appreciate questions and comments and will gladly answer them. Take care and see you next time.